Hey everyone, this is Heath, the Batman Geek. How's everyone doing today? Today is day two of Video Blog Thank You Week. And today, um, I'm going to be thanking Mr. Fenner. Um, he was a teacher that I had in um, high school. He was my county teacher. I had him my sophomore and junior years. Uh, and actually, it's a little bit weird because um, Mr. Fenner has, um, has passed away. Um, it's been a long time. I, I've been out of school for 20 years. I graduated in 86. So I'm kind of dating myself a little bit there. It seems kind of odd to think about how long I've been out of high school sometimes. But anyway, um, Mr. Fenner, and, and part of the reason why, I mean, I, you know, why am I thanking someone who, who obviously can never see this, but my hope is that maybe someone that I went to school with or maybe that someone who knew Mr. Fenner or maybe even the family may someday see this and know that, at least in, in, in this one case, that, you know, that he made a difference in someone's life because I never got the chance to thank him um, when he was alive. Um, and they seem kind of silly or, or, or odd to you. I don't know. I, I even kind of struggle with it myself. But it's again, this whole week is stuff that I feel like that I, I, I have to, I need to do or want to do, have to do whatever you want to say. And so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it it's weird because. It, I went to three different high schools in, in four years. I, I spent the majority of my time in, in one high school here in, in Cincinnati. Um, I, I, I transferred halfway through my senior year to school down in Georgia. That's where I actually graduated from. And, um, and Mr. Fenner was, was unique because my accounting teacher, and what was so cool about him is that, you know, I, he didn't necessarily, con I didn't confide in him. I mean, I had a lot of stuff going on, you know, during that time period of my life. My parents, you know, had divorced each other twice. I, you know, it was just, it was, very chaotic in a lot of ways, and but I never really confided in him or anything that anything like that. But what was neat was that he just and as as I was thinking about this post, what made me realize what it was was that he that he believed in me, and that's why I remember him because I remember no other teacher really during my you know 12 plus years of school. He's the only one that I think about uh, remember to this you know to this day and. Um, it was just neat. Um, he, he believed in me, and he was a—I thought he was a great teacher. He was just cool. He was funny. Um, I, I didn't know anybody that didn't like him, and, and it was just neat. And, um, and and you know, when I left and I came, I came you know, when I when I moved down to Georgia, and uh, even after I joined the service, that's actually when I found out that he had passed away. Was that I was coming back home? Just, just to show you how things changed, I just walked into my old high school. You know, here I am, you know, 19 years old, and I walk into my old high school and um, and to go to visit my teacher. And then I had, um, and that's when I found out that he had passed away. And it was um, it felt really sad. And I think what I felt sad most about was that I never got a chance to tell him thank you, that I appreciated him being the kind of teacher that that makes a difference in a young person's life who, who can help guide them and shape them and, and and hopefully make them be a little bit better, better of a person even when they don't necessarily believe in themselves so that's really all I got to say about that and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow